This chair is a familiar one to you, but 10 years ago caused quite a flurry. Charles Eames once said, eventually everything connects. People, ideas, objects, but the quality of the connections is the key to quality per se. Now, what does that even mean? Eames was an industrial designer born in 1907 in St. Louis, Missouri. He spent his life influencing modern architecture, furniture, graphic design, art, and film. In 1985, he was awarded the most influential designer of the 20th century. And uh, thank you, Wikipedia, for today's history lesson. It's safe to say that he had a very thorough understanding of applied design and how it integrates with its surroundings. A chair may look beautiful, but if someone can't functionally use it, is it valuable? This is what Eames' statement means. And now you might say, what does any of this have to do with the church? Well, church wasn't created just to have breathtaking buildings or amazing lights and music. Church isn't even just for Sundays. It's a place where we can connect, grow, and stay engaged all week. That's why we have midweek. And there's something for everyone. Of 80s through Even you. Uh, babies through 80 year olds um, getting together and, and studying the Word of God, whether that's from elementary to students to um, college to men's, women's, senior, uh, engaged studies. Uh, man, we got something for, for anybody and everybody. I think it's important because it allows you during kind of the regular rhythm of the week to take time um, to gather with other believers, uh, to really spend time learning and growing in your faith, but also being surrounded by community. Community and connection. The two things that turn church from something nice to observe into something of value. Yeah, so I, I help out uh, with all the student ministry. We do a big worship night here at the Brandon campus. Um, every Wednesday night we have preaching and music. And so my role is to help out with the worship side of things. And we just, we just have a blast every Wednesday night. It's awesome. Or maybe you're not a 16-year-old and you want something different. This uh, fall, we will carry out part two of our Bible Doctrine for Life class. So last semester, we were able to walk through the entire doctrine of God. This year, we're going to go through creation, uh, angels, demons. Uh, we're going to go to the doctrine of humanity and probably get into the doctrine of Christ. And uh, probably in the, in the spring, that we'll go through Bible Doctrine Part 3 for life, and that'll be finishing up the doctrine of Christ. And you know, maybe that is, and maybe that's not the one for you. On Wednesday night, we're kicking off Fearless. Um, it is a seven week Bible study uh, on women throughout scripture who live fearlessly for the Lord. Let's not overcomplicate this. We have something for everyone. We have something for you. And here's the kicker. The next step is up to you. So come and engage, come and grow. Come and connect with a community and be a part of the church that this world needs.